I am holding the Ruby's Deluxe Collector's Edition Pretty Woman Leatherface Mask. I want to talk about this mask, compare it to the standard Ruby's Pretty Woman Leatherface Mask, and I want to discuss the strange phenomena going on right now with eBay resellers and these Walmart exclusive Ruby's Reissue Masks. But first I want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, a killer clothing brand called Entity AM, who are offering you all an exclusive 10% discount off everything on their website when you follow the link in the description. Into the AM's clothing is handcrafted with care using the highest quality fabrics and eco-friendly inks. Their shirts are ultra soft, breathable, pre-shrunk, and built to last, featuring beautifully vibrant and colorful designs. And big guys, Into the AM hasn't forgotten about us. Their shirts come in sizes up to 4X. Take advantage of one of the bundle deals and get three of their graphic tees for $55 or three basic tees for $40 and you'll receive an additional 10% off your purchase by using the link in the description and the pinned comment below. So back in October, I saw a lot of listings pop up for the Ruby's Friday the 13th mask. This one. Now this is a mask that's been around for a long time and it's available to purchase pretty much anywhere online. However, Ruby's reissued the mask, called it the Deluxe Edition, made it a Walmart exclusive, put it in a shiny new box, and all of a sudden, it became a highly sought after item. If you wanted one but didn't live near a Walmart that carried them or weren't lucky enough to be there right when they were placed on store shelves, then you were forced to go the reseller route and pay double, triple, or more. Recently, this mask hit Walmart shelves for the retail price of $50 and eBay listings of over $200. As a matter of fact, I just checked eBay right now and there is a listing for one of these masks and the seller is asking for $225. Now, Ruby's has a Pretty Woman leather face mask that's been on the market for years. But this one is the Deluxe Collector's Edition. So let's take a look at this mask and then we'll compare it to the $30 Standard Edition. And shout out to my buddy Rob Granger who procured this mask for me from his local Walmart. This video wouldn't be possible without him. So thanks again, Rob. I appreciate it. The box the mask comes inside of declares that this is the Collector's Edition Deluxe Pretty Woman mask, and it's apparently only appropriate for ages 17 and up. I guess Ruby's figures that if you're under the age of 17, you lack the cognitive ability to operate this mask in a responsible fashion. You've got some images of Leatherface on the box. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre logo is all over it too, just in case you forgot that Leatherface is a character from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The back of the box informs us again that it is a limited edition made from Kaylin clay and latex, handcrafted from sculpt to finish, individually painted and made in North America. Very nice, Rubies. Very nice. So let's unbox the pretty woman and give her a look. Just don't stare. That's harassment. All right, here we go. Got the box open. Oh, goodness gracious. This mask is pretty heavy. Oh, wow, the wow, the latex on this thing is really thick too. Holy crap. Not freaking bad, Rubies. Not freaking bad. So yeah, right off the bat, I am really impressed with just the overall quality of this mask. Like I said, the latex is very thick. It's very heavy. Um, the paint job on this mask is also quite good. The detail in the stitching and in the face is... Good. Like, really good. The blue eyeshadow around the eyes, the, the, the blush or the rouge on the cheeks, uh, and the, the, the lipstick just smeared around the mouth looks just nasty, but very nice. It's even got the neck piece here with the split right under the uh, chin. Um, not going to tell you what that split looks like because... Uh, yeah. Hmm. The hair is also quite good. It's very thick. It's glued down snug. Um, Ruby's did a, an excellent job with the hair here. It's a little patchy 
in the back, but again, the hair is so thick that once you lay it down, you, you can't really tell. There's a pretty wide opening here to fit your head inside the mask, and it's a pretty good size opening. So I think even if you have a large head, this mask should fit you. And the latex goes all the way around. So this entire piece here, from here to here, is one piece of latex. Again, a thick piece of latex. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll have some more up close and personal footage of the Ruby's Deluxe Collector's Edition Pretty Woman Leatherface Mask. I am highly, highly impressed with the Ruby's Deluxe Collector's Edition Pretty Woman Leatherface Mask. I dig the subtlety of the paint job here, as if Leatherface used one kind of makeup on the forehead, another kind of makeup around the eyes, another kind of makeup on the cheeks, another kind of makeup <laughs> on and around his nose. Of course, he went very thick with the um, lipstick on the lips, and the skin on the neck is just uh, dead flesh with that dead flesh kind of look. Again, the latex is very thick. I, I, I'm really surprised at how thick the latex is on this mask. This is a mask that, if displayed correctly, uh, is going to last you a long time. The opening is pretty wide, so even if you have a rather large noggin like I do, the mask should still fit you. And the hair. The hair is quite good. So for 50 bucks, this mask is a great deal. I've purchased masks from other mass produced mask companies who shall remain nameless. I've paid much more and received a lot less. But again, these masks are not easy to track down in the wild and eBay scalpers are scalping folks or at least attempting to scalp folks left and right. So now let's take a look at the standard Ruby's Pretty Woman Leather Face Mask, which you can find pretty much anywhere online for around 30 bucks. So as far as quality is concerned, there is a pretty significant dip in quality from the Deluxe Collector's Edition to the standard. Um, first off, the thickness of the latex. The latex here is very uh, thin. It's not paper thin. It's I would say slightly thinner than your average Trick or Treat Studios mask, or maybe right around the same thickness. The paint job on this one isn't bad, to be honest. You don't quite have the same subtlety when it comes to the colors. You've got the, the, the blue eyeshadow, though. You've got the, the blush or the rouge on the cheeks, and you've got the, the lipstick. Pretty, you know, leather face... Um, Went a little over the top with the uh, with the lipstick, but you know he wanted he wanted to look pretty. The hair on this one is actually pretty okay. It's not quite as thick as the hair on the Deluxe Collector's Edition mask, but it's it's pretty close. The hair is actually not bad at all for a thirty dollar mask. The opening on this mask is quite large. It should fit. It should fit any. Uh, adult head size. Also, the latex on this one starts at the top of the head and moves down to the jowls. And in the back, you have this material um, that the hair is glued onto. Or actually, I think the hair is stitched onto the back of this. Yeah, looks like the hair is actually stitched onto this material. And we don't get the extended neck on this mask or the split from the chin down that looks like a, uh, something that I won't mention. So for around 30 bucks, this isn't a bad mask at all. But for just $20 more, this mask is on a whole other level. But the problem with this mask is availability. And a lot of people who really want one are having to go the reseller route in order to get one. And if you're one of those people, how much should you pay for this mask? Should you pay $225 for it? No. 
Should you pay $150 for it? No. Should you pay $100 for it? Maybe. Let me put it to you this way. If this mask had been done by an independent artist, you could easily spend $200 to $250, possibly more, for a mask like this. Now, this mask from an independent artist may have a few extra details here and there, maybe slightly better hair, but the price tag would be upwards of $250 to maybe $300 or more. You could go the route of a Trigger Treat Studios Pretty Woman Leather Face Mask, which those are readily available, I do believe, and retail for about 80 bucks. I don't own one of those though, so I can't speak on its quality or compare it to the Ruby's Deluxe Collector's Edition. If you're working with a tight budget, but you still want a pretty good Pretty Woman Leather Face Mask, then the Ruby Standard Edition will suffice. And you could easily touch this mask up with a little bit more red in the cheeks, a little bit more blue around the eyes, and a lot more red on the lips. Let me know your thoughts on the Ruby's Deluxe Collector's Edition Pretty Woman Leather Face Mask down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know if you were able to pick one of these up, where you picked it up at, and how much you paid for it. Oh, and if you own the Trick or Treat Studios Pretty Woman Mask, let me know your thoughts on it while you're down there also. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description.
Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.